Okay, so let's recap. Hope, done. Motto, done. Uh, careful, done. Uh, mama, done. Gone, which was not supposed to be done. Um, uh, we kind of messed up there. Uh, but that's done. Uh, you can go take a look at that one. But back to the list um, is now happy. So we this is the next one in line. Uh, NF happy and has actually got a music video over here. So uh, let's see what we've got. Let's go. Dear God, please Hear me out, I know it's been a couple years Since I've reached Out and said hello, I bet you're wondering Why I keep Obsessing on and stressing oh, all the little this. things When I should be Living life and soaking up the memory I know I've been selfish I have no excuse to give you it's true Hanging by a thread's how I live I don't know why but I feel more comfortable Living in my agony Watching my self-esteem go up in flames Acting like I don't Okay, whoa, okay, go, whoa, calm down. <laughs> okay, mate. Whoa, okay. I can see the tie now. I can actually see how he's actually structuring this album. It's very, 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 very clever. Uh, I like the fact that he started with the hope, where he's actually sort of like outing himself, outing his darker self. And he's like, okay, these are the two personas, these are the two characters, these are the two uh, uh, um, 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 sides of the coin, the dark and the light, and I'm going about to expose the demon, and I'm about to show you the light, right? And then he goes into Marta, and he talks about the industry, right? So he's kind of just telling a story in terms of how he's just not an industry standard, right? Kind of more light-hearted one. Then he goes into Careful, where he flexes a bit, and he's, he's like, I still am who I am. Don't forget that, right? Don't forget that, but I still stand by my morality. He then goes into uh, um, Mama, where he kind of, he buries that hatchet and he, you know, he's, he's, all he's doing here is tying up loose ends, right? He's tying up misconceptions. He's tying up um, um, all these things that people are, are sort of pinning him to the board for, right? And then he goes um, um, from Mama into Happy, where he's, he goes from hoping that his mother is happy to now a song about happiness in terms of like what actually makes one happy right what is the meaning of a true authentic happiness right i'll speak more about that later let me just talk about the strings on this absolutely beautiful violin then with the guitar that comes in beautiful the fact that he's actually used strings in the song makes it very light-hearted uplifting although it's still quite a very deep song right if you had to put like a sad piano piano behind this the whole the whole concept and the whole feel of the song would immediately change right but he he was very careful to keep your emotions sort of up here and he did that with the instruments it's, it's very very smartly done right so he's made it very light-hearted beautiful 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 and i'm trying to understand this video and i've got a concept but i'll talk about that later in my self-esteem go up in flames acting like i don't care what anyone else thinks when i know truthfully that that's the furthest thing from how i feel but i'm too proud to open up and ask you to pick me up and pull me out this hole i'm trapped in the truth is I need help, but I just can't imagine who I'd be if I was happy. Yeah. Been this way so long, it feels like something's off when I'm not depressed. I got some issues that I won't address. I got some baggage I ain't open yet. I got some demons I should put to rest. I got some traumas that I can't forget. I got some phone calls I've been avoiding. Some family members I don't really connect with. Some things I said I wish I would have not let slip. Some hurtful words that never should have left my lips. Some bridges burned. I'm not ready to rebuild yet. Some insecurities I haven't dealt with yet. I'll be the first to admit that I'm a lonely soul. And the last to admit I need a hand. 
hand to hold, losing hope, headed down a dangerous road, strange I know. Who are you to judge anybody? Who are you to judge anyone in your family or anybody around you? If you haven't torn off the mask, or if you haven't torn off your mask first, if you haven't looked in the mirror, until you can actually look in the mirror and be like, I am perfect, I am incapable of making any mistakes, who are you to judge anybody else who do, even if they are in your own family? And what he's doing over there, he's like, he's literally saying, this is what I had to do, right? This is what I actually did. I took away all of these veils that have been covering my, 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 my vision and I took a look around, I took a look around my space, right? And then he sort of, sort of contemplated on the idea of happiness where he's like, what actually makes somebody happy? What is the true definition of happy? Because, you know, you're going to fight many demons, but the biggest demon you will ever fight, the most grueling demon you will ever fight is the demon of yourself. Knowing that you as a person is no better than the person that you feel is demonic towards you, right? Because that's a demon you can't escape. That's a demon you can't get rid of. That's a demon that you can't cast aside. That's a demon you're going to have to face and live with every single day. And because people have to face and live with that demon, right? They try to demonize others through projection. And they try to be like, oh, but that person, I can't believe this person's done it, but this person's done it, but this person's done it. And they, they often come around the hypocritical bend, knowing that they are the same, knowing that they've done this too, knowing that their imperfections are just as pure as the imperfections of the people they're pointing fingers at. The person you're going to fight with every single day, the person that you are going to compare yourself and should only compare yourself to is the person you were yesterday. If you can one up the person you were yesterday, you will always be a better of yourself every single day. And even if you do that incrementally, if you couldn't get up yesterday, get up today, because that's a defiance to the person you were yesterday. If you couldn't wash the dishes today, you get up, the, or the next day, you get up, you get up, you wash the dishes in defiance to the person you were the day before and the day before. You need to incrementally beat yourself every single day. You need to incrementally out compete yourself every single day. The battle is between you and the day you and the person you were yesterday. It's not between you and the people you think you should be better than. Or the people who you think are better than you. That is your only challenge. Is who you were yesterday. Can you beat that? And incremental steps will get you to the stage of happiness. Incremental steps will happiness will just exist. It never falls from the sky. You're never going to have, oh, I'm seeking happiness. And when people try to seek this, this inauthentic happiness, this fakery that people tend to think, I'll only be happy when I have this. I'll only be happy when I attain this. I'll only be happy. You will only be happy when you get the things you don't have, but you will never be happy for the things you already do have. Happiness is grounded. It's part and parcel of a disciplined life, of a habit, a habitual life. Good habits lead to happiness. Bad habits lead to misery. And when you're in the throes of misery, you look for happinesses. For happiness, veiled happiness, happinesses that don't exist in vices. So that you can get momentary joy. Do not, do not misconstrue this. Momentary joy, not happiness. Happiness is something you are when you actually guardrails in your life and you don't go floating off into the abyss into the ether realizing that life has got guardrails life has got rules the cons consistent pursuit of uh, uh, um, decadences and temptations is not what's going to make you happy it's the fact that you are able to control and discipline yourself and have and stick by a standard and a morality that doesn't make you feel guilty and all of a sudden you just are happy
you're not chasing happiness. You just are happiness. You just are happy through discipline, morality, uh, uh, um, 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 responsibility, accountability. A responsibility and accountability to yourself and a responsibility and accountability to the people around you. Seeing the world not only through your own eyes, but through the eyes of the people around you. It's a very, very interesting concept that I pondered on quite a bit. What actually makes somebody happy? Happy? What, 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 what gives you that euphoric feeling? Deeply rooted in gratitude. Deeply rooted in sacrifice. Deeply rooted in responsibility. And having a standard for yourself. That if you leave the boundaries of that standard you are made you are made to feel guilty and acceptably so because you have a standard that you live by when you know you worth more it's easier to work harder and by doing that you attain happiness it just it's just there you don't chase it. It just becomes you through good habit. I don't know if I've explained that properly. But anyway, let's carry on. No, but I feel most at home when I'm living in my agony. Watching my self-esteem go up in flames acting like I don't care what anyone else thinks when I know truthfully. Happy. Don't know what's around the bend. Don't know what my future is. But I can't keep on living in. Living in my agony. Strings, watching man. my self esteem go up in flames, acting like I don't. Care what anyone else thinks When I know truthfully That that's the furthest thing from how I Feel but I'm too proud to open up and ask you To pick me up and pull me out this hole I'm trapped in The truth is I need help but I just can't imagine Who I'd be if I was happy happy I get the concept of the video I'll talk about that shortly but just to like sort of end off the video because it's something very important where he says I don't know who I'd be if I was happy where he kind of you know he's telling you that um, his happiness what he thought was his happiness was actually his agony because people tend to become very content and very uh, um, sort of engrossed in their agony to the extent that actually being miserable makes you a form of happy not a pure form not an authentic form of happy but it makes you happy being in that dark space it actually becomes a habit to be content with your misery and he's like i don't know who i'd be if i was happy i don't know who i'd be if i ever took the chance to explore something that made me uncomfortable to explore something that really shook and wrecked the ground beneath me because it's it's something I've never experienced. So who would I be if I was happy? Who would I be if I didn't go through my strife? Who would I be if I didn't go through my agony? Who would I be? Would I know what happiness truly is if I never saw the darker side of life? Brilliant, but what I like about the video, just to wrap up this video, is 
the way he tied up is he tied up the generations. Because there were happy moments in that video. There were really were. But there was misery in it. And the misery came through the misunderstanding of the people before you. And she only understood that at the end when she realized that she became the very same person. She became the very same person she never wanted to be. She became her mother because all she knew was her mother. Happiness is a very interesting concept. What makes us happy? It's interesting. You let me know down below. I'll catch you in the next one.